Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and there is just one more thing in the Docker that I want to discuss in this particular section and which is naming up your Docker. Now this naming convention can be discussed in a lot of detail and there are a lot of hidden things in here and there about the naming. We are going to see just the basic one which is going to help you a little bit and we may discuss it further in the upcoming videos as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get started and talk about it. So we have built our image uh, with this Docker file, a pretty easy, very simple Docker file that we have used and we have generated an image based on that. And finally, it says that this is the image that you can use. So I'm going to just copy that, clear my screen. And if I want to run it, I simply say Docker run and then the name of it. Now, surely this works really fine, but there can be a little bit better way to name up your uh, Docker container. Naming will help you to not remember this really gigantic numbers, combination of numbers and letters, rather it's much more easier. So let's build our image with a tag of, or an option of hyphen T, so that we can name up our image. It's really simple command, so let's go ahead and uh, use that. So in order to do so, all we have to do is simply say that I want to build an image. Now make sure when you do an ls, you are still in the Docker, you are able to see the Docker file because that will be responsible for generating this build or a container. So we're going to simply say Docker and then I want to build. Now previously I was just saying that I want to build with this context, so I was putting a dot, but now I have to introduce a new option so that it can build according to given option and that option is just hyphen T. Now in that we are going to simply mention. Now the name of the image can be anything but I'm going to ask you to please follow the convention which is mentioned by the Docker documentation. The reference is pretty simple. You have to first uh, use your username which you have entered while creating an account on the Docker. So my is uh, my name up here. So that is it. Then the slash and then you can put up any name. In this case, I'm going to simply say my Mongo. Now it's always a good idea that you don't put a conflict with the official images and put up something like my Mongo or else your Mongo or something like that. Now once you have done that, then you also have to use the tagging. Now this so far is the naming. The tagging is when you put a colon and provide a version number. Some people like to have a V1, V2, however they go. Uh, the most common one is the latest. So when you put a latest, that means it's all about it. I'm going to put that into all one line. That's it. Not much more easier to see. There we go. So again, remember the tag is really simple. Just use a hyphen T and then you can name up your image. This part is the name of the image and this part is the tagging of the image so that you can verify that this was the latest build, this was the production build or something else just like that. So when I hit enter, now it's going to build it and now it says successfully tagged with the name as well as the tag latest. And now instead of referring this particular big gigantic name, I can actually refer to this name. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're going to simply say docker run and then I'm going to use my name first and foremost, which is really big. And then I'm going to simply say mongo. I don't need to put any tag or something, but if you put that's also great, but you can just hit enter and there we go, our machine is up and running. I'm going to just open up another terminal. So there we go. This is my another terminal and I can simply run that docker ps and see that voila, my image is running. So there we go. Uh, nice little small trick here and there, just an option of hyphen T. Uh, that's really fantastic and probably we are going to discuss it one more time with more detail with that. So that's it. Your basic uh, introduction to the Docker is finished now. And now let's go ahead and finally move on to the next section. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'm going to catch you up in the next video.